is the AC on? Whoa! I can't afford AC with these gas prices. What the heck? Oh man! Turbo is so obnoxious. He's behind me, you can hear him. <laughs> As you guys know, right now we're heading over to GR Automotive. My car needs an alignment bad, so they're gonna be my hero and take care of it for me. So we're making our way over there right now as we speak. We don't run red lights, we're good people. Yo, your turbo is so loud, bud. Your turbo is so loud. I, as we we're going off 495, all I heard was a spool. It was hilarious. <laughs> it sounds really good. I got some good rollers of your car too, believe it or not. Oh, for real? Yeah, from both angles, left side and right side. <laughs> Alright guys, we arrived by GR Automotive. Excuse the wind noise. Some cool cars out here. Evil 10, you know, VQs out here, Impressas, R32, E30, Kuhn is slow as D35. Needs a turbo to be fast for some reason. Oh, and some Z32s out here. Nice, 240s. This Aston Martin. Looks nice. They got some cool stuff out here, all for the most part. And then your average, like, you know, other 335s out here. M4 down there. I guess it didn't stop there, too. We got some R33s out here. Nice stuff, carbon fiber and all that. It looks great out here. Cool IS300. That thing is slammed out there. E63 AMG. Love these. All right guys, so today we're gonna to be wrapping up this video with a walk around on my E92. As you guys may know, this spot's kind of familiar. Uh, I did one of my earlier videos back here to show you guys how to utilize X-Delete. I did some silly stuff such as, you know, spinning out the car here in an open parking lot because I converted the car from an all-wheel drive to rear-wheel drive. So this spot is actually being destroyed sometime soon because they're making it into a new building. The new building's like actually like right over there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but for the most part, I figured, let me just film here to kind of, Take you guys back on a really cool familiar spot of my earlier OG videos and kind of walk you through my new car. As you guys know, real quick, I've been through four E92s. This being my fourth one, my E92 335 IS. I'll be walking through that car pretty shortly. But for the most part, if you have any questions so far about the car itself, what's going on with the channel, feel free to comment down below. The car is not all that special. It has a few things done to it. I'm going to walk you guys through it right now. This is my lovely 335 IS. So this car, I've had it since September 16th, I want to believe. I had the car with about 78,000 miles on it. As of right now, it has about 97,000 miles in the odometer. This has been my only car for a very long time now. It has been so reliable, has given me no problems, never left me stranded. Again, with these cars, some things may pop up every once in a while, but it's just been so dependable. It's been such a fun car to drive. It's been to so many places. Quick background of this vehicle. Bought it on Carvana, as you guys know, back in September 16. This car was an 01 owner vehicle that's been spending all of its life in California. And it spent a few months in Massachusetts, according to the Carfax, so it's never seen winter until it stepped foot in Maryland. It had its first snowstorm here. I had the chance to actually drive, it was pretty fun. I was very petrified of it being a two wheel drive car, but it had some really good tires on it. It currently has Mitchell and Paws for AS3 Pluses, so the car has great traction when it came to any inclement weather such as heavy rain, light snow, you name it. So it was pretty good. And for the most part, it really kind of gave me a good idea of what it's like to own a rear wheel drive car. I've only owned one front wheel drive car and every other car I've owned has always been all wheel drive. My three previous E92 335 I, 335Is, my black one, gray one, and my blue one, all been X drive. Even my, uh, excuse me, my E70 X5, that was also all wheel drive. Granted, they were fun to drive, they were solid, very dependable, but you don't need it. This car has been great. So to walk you through the modifications done to this car, it's currently sitting on ICS coilovers, they're street sports. The car is very stiff. I want to emphasize that, very stiff, but for its ride quality, in terms of how low it sits, the car has no rubbing issues in the front and the rear, which is insane to me. So really, really, really good ride quality for the most part, just some harsh thuds because, again, pretty stiff. It's maxed out on stiffness in the front and the rear, so that's my fault, right? <laughs> The car also has 12 and a half millimeter spaces in the front and 15 mil in the rears. The car also, when I bought it, did come with this really cool 
carbon fiber duckbill lip in the rear, so it's pretty nice. What makes these 335 ISs so cool is that they have a really nice M Sport kit, so it has a really cool rear bumper, nice plastic diffuser, also has the M Performance exhaust, which sounds lovely. You have these really cool 313M style 19 inch forged wheels, super light. Just for comparison, had my GTI and the wheels on those were an 18 by 8. And this car, you know, these wheels being a 19 by 9.5 in the rear was significantly lighter, which is insane to me. Uh, you know, really cool M Sport performance bumper in the front, but no fog lights. So that's actually active ducts that actually go towards the oil cooler and the front brakes. So to help cool it and give you extra performance. So that's pretty nice. As you guys may know, I'm still on the stock intercooler. This car does not have many, many modifications done in terms of performance. It only has an off the shelf tune off from MHD. Stage 2 plus E30 has catless down pipes, no secondaries. The car also does have, you know, cone intakes, charge pipe with a blow off valve and also has a transmission tune from XHP. It's coming on the stage three file, which is awesome. Shifts are better, faster, more crisp. Downshifts sound way cooler. And I have more customizability for how to utilize a car, whether it be for burnout mode, launch control, changing the RPM, all that cool stuff. Car's interior is immaculate, right? The car is really, really clean. No tears, no rips. The interior is absolutely perfect. I always love the black interior of these cars. As you can imagine, it has a really nice silver trimming with it being a 335 IS model. Has the nice black headliner. Also has comfort access, so it's nice. Uh, really, really helpful for being a daily driven car. Every little thing helps. But for the most part, guys, this car is amazing. More plans for it. I do plan on going single turbo in the very near future. So when that comes around, I'll be sure to do a really good thorough video how that goes about with installation tuning it any errors i may come across but for the most part fabulous 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 car if you can get your hands on one one of the best cars out there for under 25 grand in my opinion can be b for the dollar to be honest and yeah for the most part i hope you guys enjoyed today's video <sighs> sorry for not being as active as i could be i have no reason for not being as on top of my videos i've just kind of grew bored of it not really bored i can definitely say i got lazy i just saw no reason to put out content because I thought there's no direction with it. 